Out from the shadows, I'm Naked Ninja, and this is part two of the first video showing the upgrade for NVIDIA Shield uh, TV or just NVIDIA Shield now. Uh, the new one updated to 7.0 that gives you the Google Assist into the Shield. Um, so, what you got here, as you can see, as soon as I went through the things and started to activate the whole thing, it asked me a bunch of things saying, Do I want to activate? The Google Services Assist, yes. I said continue, continue, continue. Now you have to take your actual remote and update it. And it looks like this one first. Um, it wouldn't update the other one yet. Let's see what happens here. So let's just let's just follow me and we'll see this. So if you, you know, press, press continue, it's updating the Shield Controller. I'm hoping it updates the other one too. Um, I mean, I like the, the actual joystick, don't get me wrong. But the small one, which is a lot smaller in your hand, is just nicer and easier to hold in your hand. And if I'm not going to use, you know, for gaming, I mean, I don't see the point of it. So let's see, did that one. Now let's see if it gives me the option to update the other one. So if I press continue, now I'm hoping it doesn't turn off my other assist. It might actually, but here I'm going to try it anyway. Okay, get the most out of your Google Assist. This is great. Say yes. Uh oh, what happened? I don't like that. Let's click on that again. Shield update. Oh, I have to update the other one. Okay. Well, that's good. It's actually bringing the update to the other one, which made sense. It just it was just weird. It only goes for the controller first, and then that second, since I was actually using just the standard, you know, slender remote. See how long this takes. It shouldn't take that long. Maybe that's why I gave me an error code since I didn't update both of them. Like I said, this is the first time I've done this, obviously, and it just rolled out today, so you know, good luck people. Hope everyone gets it as quick as possible. But it'll kind of eliminate that whole Google Home being on the side over there. You know, not speaking or anything like that. Um and like I said, I can't wait for the NVIDIA spots to come out because that that'll be awesome work. They're in each room, you plug them into it, and it looks pretty cool where no matter where you're at, it's going to recognize your voice so you can control anything from anywhere of your room. So that's, that's pretty awesome. This remote's taking forever. Do not know why. Which makes no sense. Less buttons. It wouldn't make sense for it to actually have to update that one longer than the other one. The controller, as you saw, was pretty darn quick. This is real time, so so far the video was about um, oh with the pause I'd say about 14 minutes. Part two here you can see we're at 3:45 right now. It's still going. We'll see what happens. And like I said, I hope it's not gonna um, set my off my Google Home over there when I do this. Cool. All right. Okay. Let's see what happens here. Let's try something real quick. I'm kind of curious. Accessories. Connected. Connected. Okay. Cool. Looks like that is good. Now let's just say, uh, okay, Google, turn on Netflix. 
I also need to know which device to use. Try saying that again and include the device's name. So, like I said, you heard it in the background there, activating my other thing, but you can see it's saying, I, okay, go turn on Netflix. So, I don't know why I did that, which is weird. Let's back out of this. Um, okay, Google, open Netflix. Try saying that again, but include the name of the program you'd like to watch. Sorry for about that annoying. Sweet. That is way easier than talking the other one and waiting for it to go through the system. Well, hell yeah. Let's try another one. Let's see what else it can do. We get home out of here. Oh, let's see. Okay, Google. Open Hulu. My apologies. I don't understand. Hot dog, people. This is sick. I'm liking this. I'm digging this. I'm pretty excited. Let's see if I even have to say okay, okay Google. I don't. I bet you I don't have to anymore. With this setup. Oh, it's listening all the time. So it listens a long time afterwards. It looks like. Um, okay, Google. Yeah, see, it listens right when you say okay, Google. There you go at the bottom. You can see what I'm saying to it. Cancel. So you don't even have to press the mic now. You can just say the phrase. Okay, Google. Open Amazon Video. Oh shit, people. That's a good one at you, Alexa. <laughs> this is sick. Okay, Google. That's pretty cool. So you can do all the other stuff. Yeah, it's pretty responsive. So the listening feature when it's on looks like it doesn't, you don't have to press your button anymore. That's pretty sick. Anyway, cool. Let's get out of here. I'm just going to back out of here. Yeah, I want to exit the amp. Sweet. So, well, that's it for now. I just want to show you what happened at the second part of this. Sorry I didn't continue the other one. It would have took too long. That's why I made a two-part video. Um, as always, if you guys liked the video, you know, please give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more, let me know. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, always put them in the comment section. I always try to get back as quick as possible for you, and I try to help as much as possible. As always, you guys have a great day, and thank you for watching.